Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce Priceless plugin. Now using this particular plugin allows the uh, WooCommerce web store admin to create custom price rules according to the price rule entities like product, category, allowed customer, minimum quantity and minimum amount as well. Apart from that, the admin can make use of the various entities and can alter their sequence according to which the price rules will be applicable on the products there. So using this plugin, the admin can add and edit the price lists and the price list rules, can set the price rule entity sequence according to which the price rules will be applicable there. And uh, the admin can also set the price calculation rule to add or decrease the set percentage of the uh, fixed price as required and can easily assign the created price rule list to the price list and uh, the admin also has the option to set the date range in which the price list will be active and uh, the uh, as i've already told you the price rules can be created on the basis of product category allowed customer minimum quantity and the minimum amount as well so in today's video tutorial i'll be just uh, taking you through the workflow of the plugin uh, there on the storefront as well as uh, in the back end how the admin would be able to create the different uh, price rules but before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm on the WooCommerce uh, web store front end here and I'm on the shop page with the different products. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how the price lists can be created first and how uh, they are applicable on the products, their categories uh, for the minimum quantity of the product and the minimum uh, amount of the products as well and how the price uh, created price list uh, would be applicable and would change the price uh, by increasing or decreasing the price of the products there. So for that, let me take you to the admin backend panel first. Now, after the successful installation of this particular plugin, that's the WordPress WooCommerce price list, you'll have the WooCommerce price list option on the side panel here. And under that, you'll be having price list, price list versions and the price list items. And the very first thing that you need to do is you need to first create the price list then create the list version and choose the price list that you have already created and lastly you can create the price list items wherein you'll have to choose the version and within the price list items you will be able to set up the uh, price rule entities like product category allowed customer minimum uh, uh, quantity and the minimum amount of the products to which uh, the uh, uh, particular price rules would be applicable so uh, to create a new price list uh, first you'll have to go to the price list so let's tap here on the price list first so uh, here uh, to add a new uh, price list we'll just tap here on the add new price list button and uh, that will bring up the uh, section to create a new price list so let's tap on the add new price list for this demo I'll just be creating the price list name as test uh, there I'll set it as active and I'll tap here on the create button so we have created uh, the price list as test. Now after the price list, we'll go to the price list versions. Here we'll have to create the price list version. And uh, here you'll find the complete list of versions that we have already created. So to add a new price list version, I'll just tap here on the add new button. I'll set the name as test version for the time being. I'll set it as active. I'll choose the parent as uh, the test one that we have just created and uh, we'll choose the start date and the end date uh, for this uh, price list uh, version so, and i'll tap here on the create button so uh, let's go back so we have created the test version as you can see here so uh, we have created the price list then we have created the price list uh, versions and there we have selected the particular price list now coming to the price list items here we'll be able to uh, create the price list items. Apart from that, you'll find the complete list of already created price list items there. To add a new one, just tap here on the add new button and that will bring up the add price list rules. So for the time being, we'll set this as test rule two. Uh, I'll choose the parent as the test version that we have created for the test list that initially we had created. So I'll choose the test version. I'll set the sequence in which this uh, rule should be applicable. The sequence is one, uh, the priority is the one. Now the rules can be applicable on the product, category, minimum quantity, minimum amount and allowed customers. So you can create uh, multiple uh, price rules for product, category, minimum quantity, minimum amount and the allowed customers as per your own requirement. 
So I'll just take you through all of these one by one and then we'll see how these are applicable on the uh, front end there. So here you can see that uh, the Happy Ninja is for $18, this Happy Ninja is for $35. Uh, what we'll do is we'll first apply the rule on the product. So now in the same uh, price list, I'll be uh, altering these uh, rules on and I'll show you the uh, changes on the uh, storefront. Uh, for your own self you can create multiple different rules for uh, the same on the different rules can be created so uh, for the time being I'll just demonstrate it on the same particular price rule that I'm going to create first so first we'll set it on the price rule on product we'll choose the product here uh, I'll increase the price here we can increase or decrease the price so for now we'll be increasing the price of the happy ninja product so it's uh, the rule is on product uh, product name is happy ninja the price calculation type is increased price the price type is fixed you can go for the percentage as well I'll increase the price by $20 there and let's tap here on the create button and you can see that the rule has been created there let's go back here's the rule uh, test rule 2 happy on happy ninja uh, there now let's go to the storefront now here you can see that the happy ninja is for $18 this is for $35 let's refresh and let's see the price change there so here you can see that now it's uh, $55 uh, so $20 have been increased to the happy ninja initially it was for $35 now it's for $55 after the increase of uh, $20 there so uh, that's how uh, this particular rule applies uh, the rule on product now comes the rule on category uh, if I scroll down here I have uh, Woo album it's uh, under the category that's the album category so we'll be applicating the uh, creating the rule for this so let's go back the rule is on category uh, the product category is uh, albums I'll be increasing the price by fixed by 20 let's uh, keep it same let's update it uh, update the particular rule now let's uh, refresh the page here now you can see that $20 have been increased to the Woo album that was uh, initially for uh, $9 itself. So that's how the rule and category works. Uh, all, of the, all of the products uh, within that particular category uh, would uh, be having an increase of price there for uh, the price type as fixed. Now we have the minimum quantity so uh, you can create a price rule for the minimum quantity and you can set uh, the price calculation as increase or decrease uh, the price so now uh, let's increase the price uh, by twenty dollars there whenever a customer uh, because the rule is on minimum quantity there of a product we have set the minimum quantity as one if the minimum quantity is one in the cart then the price of the product would be increased by twenty dollars there let's update this rule there so let's uh, add this particular uh, one uh, we already have a few products in the cart let me remove them out okay uh, now let's add this ship your idea that's for fifteen dollars now let's see now you can see that the price uh, has risen from fifteen to thirty five dollars in the cart itself uh, when we had created the rule on minimum quantity is one the increase of price with a fixed one would be twenty dollars so that's why the actual price was fifteen dollars but when we added it into the cart the price went off to thirty five dollars within the cart itself now coming back uh, you can also uh, create the rule on minimum amount so if uh, the uh, minimum uh, product amount we have to see so here you can see that the minimum product amount is eighteen dollars so we'll set if the minimum product amount is $18 will increase the price uh, by $20 let's uh, set it as same now let's refresh the page and let's see whether it works or not you can see now from $18 the price has risen to $38 itself so that's how the rule on minimum amount works now for the allowed customers you'll have to choose the uh, customer for example if I choose Peter or John for example if I choose John Doe and the customer uh, so for this allowed customer uh, will increase the price to 20 uh, for example so for the products that will be there the price would be risen to $20 there so uh, so
so accordingly you can save the particular uh, what we say as the rule here so I just showed you it in the same rule there I was just updating the the, the rule on uh, section there so I showed you product category minimum quantity minimum uh, amount and allowed customer there so that's how this particular uh, plugin works that's the WooCommerce uh, price list and I hope uh, this particular video helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead